Hello, Rightsful friends. We hope you all are doing well and enjoying your first week of summer. I'm so proud of you for making it through the school year. My name is Miss Anna and I'm joined here with Fletcher. You say hey. hey. <laughs> He's gonna help me with today's lesson today. Um, I'm proud of you all for making it through the school year. I know this year was not what anybody expected and um, you might have had some challenges with you know moving from your school to, to working and doing school at home but we made it and now we can enjoy this summer and um, hopefully we'll be together soon but we're glad that we could be with you today um, this way. So our story today, our uh, Sunday School lesson is about the Good Samaritan. You may have heard this um, story before. It's a really good one. It's a great parable that Jesus tells us. Um, a parable is a story that Jesus uses to explain um, a moral that he's trying to tell everyone so you can relate to it. So that's what a parable is. So I'm going to read the, the story and then we're going to talk about it. One day, a man who knew the law stood up. He tried to test Jesus. What do I have to do to live forever? What does the law say, Jesus asked? Love the Lord your God with all your heart. Love God with all your soul, said the man. Love God with all your strength. Love God with all your mind. Love your neighbor as much as you love yourself. You're right, Jesus said. Do that and you'll live. But the man wasn't happy with that answer. So he asked, who is my neighbor? Jesus answered the man with a story. There once was a man who was on a trip. He was going from Jerusalem to Jericho, but robbers jumped out at him. They took the man's possessions and left him injured, lying by the road, unable to help himself. Soon a priest came down the road. He saw the hurt man, but he moved to the other side of the road and he just passed by. A man who knew the law came down the road and he saw that man was, saw the hurt man, but he just moved to the other side of the road and passed by, just like the first man. Then a man from another land came down the road. He was a Samaritan. He saw the hurt man and he felt sorry for him. The Samaritan bandaged the man's wound. Then he put the man on his own donkey. He took the man to an inn and got him a room so he could rest until he was healed. The next day, the Samaritan took out his money. He gave some to the person in charge of the inn and told him, take care of this man. I'll come back and pay what it costs to take care of him. Then Jesus told the man who knew the law, which man was a neighbor? The man answered, the man who was kind. That's right, said Jesus, now go and do the same. So do you know why this parable is important, Fletcher? Why was it so surprising that the Samaritan was the one who stopped and helped the man who was injured? Do you know? No, it's because at that time, Samaritan and Jews did not get along. So it would be like your enemy walked by and was the one who helped you while all these other people that you would expect would help you did not. So it was very surprising that Jesus used the Samaritan as the example of being a good neighbor, right? All right, so I'm gonna have you hold up this sign because what are the two lessons we're gonna learn what are the two uh, most important things to take away from this that we need to show others? Kindness and, and compassion. That's right. Can you turn that around so everybody can see it? Kindness and compassion. So everybody knows what kindness is. Being kind to your neighbor, um, being kind to others, just being nice, right? But do we know what compassion is? Do you know what compassion is? Compassion is having concern for someone when they're hurt or in their, they're in a bad way. Um, and we can have compassion for others when others are hurting. 
Um, there's a lot of that going on right now in our country. People are showing compassion for others. But they don't have to be big acts of compassion. You can show compassion in your everyday life just with your brothers and sisters. If, you're, um, if your brother falls down and hurts himself, what do you do? Uh, What's the pick him back up. Oh, pick him back up. That, that's the perfect thing to do. When somebody falls down, you help pick them back up. That's having compassion and kindness. All right? So, the other point of the story is what? Love your neighbor. All right. Love your neighbor. So, who's our neighbor? Who's our neighbor? <laughs> People in our neighborhood are our neighbors, but who else are our neighbors? People in our community. So not just people that you see every day, it can be anybody that lives around you. We all have to support each other. Here, can you hold that up for me? So Fletcher is going to tell us some ways we have to be a little bit more creative right now because we have to love our neighbors from a distance, right? So where, how are some ways we can love our neighbors from a distance? Wave and say hello, call and check on them, video call, send notes, pick up trash in the neighborhood, wear a mask when out in public. <gasps> Why is wearing a mask in public loving our neighbor? Because of coronavirus. That's right. And they say that when you wear a mask over your face, you're helping everyone else. So that is like the ultimate way to love your neighbor, is just to protect everyone else. When you're out in public, you wear a mask. That is a simple way to do it. And by picking up trash and cleaning up the neighborhood, make sure you wash your hands after, but that is also a great way to show love to your neighbors in your neighborhood, right? All right, is there, <laughs> I guess we should go ahead and close. Do you wanna tell everybody what our Bible verse is for this week? Right there? No faith, hope, and love remain. These three things, and the greatest of these is love. The greatest of these is love. 1 Corinthians 13. 13. 13. That's right. All right. Thank you for being with us this week. We hope you have a wonderful first week of summer. And remember to love your neighbor. Bye.